Hi guys, I actually made this video during a fault finding process when I found something very important that I think will be of immense help to my viewers. Alright, so let's go into the details of what I found. So this is a troubleshooting I did on the factory. And then um, I first of all want us to go into what necessitated this troubleshooting. Well, then we also look at what was actually found. Mm -hmm. how it was solved and the benefits that the solution brought to the factory owner okay so this is a factory where machinery is run on daily basis but all of a sudden they started buying almost twice the electricity they used to buy for the same amount of production our interview with the foreman showed that they used to buy 600 worth of electricity which is equivalent to about 45 dollars of electricity for a day's production but as of the time we were called they were spending over 1,000 Ghana cities per day, which is equivalent to about $75. So moving from $45 to $75 is a huge difference. And in this case, it's either there is a problem with the meter itself or there is a leakage in the wiring. But it was already confirmed by the power supply authority that the meter was okay. And so we had to get to work quickly to look for where exactly that leakage was and whether it was between different lines or it was between a line and neutral or between a line and it so that production could continue as soon as possible to reduce loss and then when we conducted the test it was confirmed we noticed that there was virtually no resistance between line three and then the earth the cables. Body. Well, so it was confirmed that there was actually a leakage between line three and eight. And this is a potential culprit of the high consumption that was complained about. So we're not sure there is a problem, but then where is the problem? You know, there is a problem in the system. The instrument has been able to tell us that there is a problem in the system, but then where is that problem so that we can eliminate it? All right, so then it's one thing being sure there is a fault, and it's another thing finding the fault and solving the problem. So again, we had to confirm that by disconnecting all the motors from the main line. We did that, but the problem was still there. Though the problem was still there, now what we have done is we have actually narrowed the fault finding to the main and sub-main distribution cables. So we are sure that the problem was not coming from any of the motors. And so we had to focus on the main and sub-main distribution cables. Okay, so at this moment, we had to carefully look for the point where L3 is leaking to it. All the cables in the wiring looked pretty healthy. So it was quite difficult, but then I noticed that this L3 is connected to another load somewhere. Could this be the problem? And yes, that was where the problem was actually coming from. Yeah, that was it. So we have found the fault. Are we done? No. We have to get an evidence to confirm that that was actually what was causing the problem. So I had to check thoroughly and truly there it was. So what happened was that this part of this particular cable that was connected from line three actually pressed hard against the sharp edge at the entrance to the distribution panel. And gradually, as current continued flowing through the cable, the insulation actually got weakened and then got to the bare conductor. So this is actually almost like a direct connection between line three and then eight. So actually, when the system is operating and all the machines are running, there is actually another current that will be flowing from line three to eight. And this is actually not doing any useful work, but the meter will record it and that can increase the bill drastically because at this point, when we check, we realize that this leakage actually caused a lot of heat in this particular cable. The current that is used to generate this heat that is not used for anything will be recorded by the meter as electricity consumed and that is actually a good reason for the high unexpected consumption that the meter has been recording over the few days now here is a lesson we must all learn 
When installing electric cables, you must find a way to protect the electric cables at the point of entry into the metal panel or the metal box to prevent some of these occurrences. This could have caused a huge problem if they had not identified it earlier and called for assessment. And also, it is very important to include RCDs in whatever installation you do. Because if they had used RCDs in this circuit, the RCD would have operated immediately this problem started. And that would have informed the users that there was a problem. And that would have even prevented all this loss of money that went into paying for wasted electricity. All right. So, making sure that your cables are protected throughout their length of run from the circuit breaker to the load. And then also making sure you incorporate RCDs in your wiring in order to prevent some of these problems. This problem could have caused fire because if you look at the length of this cable, the whole cable was melting. And as it continued to be in the circuit and the circuit is operated continuously, it is very possible that this can one day heat up, that the heat could be so much so that it can catch fire. And one way of protecting your cables against this incident is by using pushing, or you can devise any other means by which you can ensure that the cables are actually protected at that point where they enter into the box. So these are a few information I think will be useful to you. In case you experienced a similar situation before, please you can share it with us so that we all learn together. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you have really learned something from this video, kindly like, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to get notified when I upload my next video. If you also have an experience similar or different from what I have shared in this video, kindly share with us at the comment section. Thanks again, and see you in my next video. Okay, so I want to show if I can I took some already, so this one just will okay. add that. More than two megawatts now. We are getting there. And then it's this one. Watch this cable. So now we have to inspect this cable.